Hey, we've got an exciting episode today. I've got Ashna with me here to talk about a new open source tool for helping keep Kubernetes clusters secure. Hey, Ashna, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about the Eraser project and how it got started. Yeah, so Eraser is an open source tool that our team developed to remove a list of non-running and non-compliant images from a Kubernetes cluster. Um, and having vulnerable images in a cluster is a pretty common issue, um, especially when images become unused. Um, and that can produce a big security risk. So Eraser helps this issue by having a process to remove um, images if they meet a specific criteria. And I know Kubernetes has its own garbage collection for cleaning up images. Um, could you talk a little bit about how Eraser is different from that process? Yeah, so Kubernetes deletes on a percentage um, load, and it doesn't take into account the vulnerable state of the images. Um, and that's what Eraser kind of focuses on by having a criteria of removal um, from the cluster. But if someone did want to just clean up all the leftover images without considering vulnerability data, is that, that an option as well? Yeah, so um, you can use Eraser in a lot of different ways. So you can just do a prune of all the images. So you could do that by disabling the scanner. Um, and that way we will look, or Eraser will look for all the unused images and just remove them. Um, or the user could deploy an image list with like a specific list of images that Eraser will look for and remove if they're not running. Sounds interesting. I uh, would love to see a demo if you're up for showing that. Yes, I have a demo recorded. I'll share my screen. Um, so for this demo, we're going to start with a kind cluster. Um, so we're just going to create a kind cluster called Eraser Demo. Um, and we already know of a vulnerable older image, which is the Alpine version 3.7.3. So into our cluster, we are going to load this image through a daemon set. Um, so the cluster is creating still. Um, and now we're going to load this daemon set that I had created before with the vulnerable image. And we know that Trivi um, is the default scanner, so Trivi will be able to detect this. Um, and we can see the pods, we can see the Alpine pod created um, and that it's running. So now we can delete the pod and this will make sure that Alpine is present as a non-running and vulnerable image in our cluster. And we can also check the um, node that we have for the Alpine image to make sure that it's there. And then we're going to deploy Eraser, which will check for this image and remove it. And we can deploy Eraser with um, Helm in the Eraser system namespace. So by doing this, this should deploy a controller manager pod, which is responsible for scheduling the pods that will perform the cleanup. Um, and this basically works by scheduling an image job, which schedules the eraser pods on each node of the cluster. Um, and the eraser pods have three containers. They have a collector container to collect all the non-running images, and then a scanner container, which is enabled by default. Um, and then the scanner container uses Trivi. And whatever images that it found vulnerable, it'll pass on to the remover container to remove those images. Um, so if we check the list of pods, once Eraser is done installing, we should see those two pods. And these are the two pods. And since the Eraser pod has completed, we should see that the image was removed and um, the manager will clean up this pod now that it's been completed. 
So if we check again, the pod was cleaned up and then we can check our same node for that Alpine image. Um, and we could see that that was removed. Awesome. So I noticed that you said that a racer uses Trivi to scan for vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. um, is it possible to use other vulnerability scanners aside from Trivi? Yeah, so we have a um, scanner template. So if the users want to have their own criteria for what is reported as vulnerable, they can input that into the template and then the template handles um, the communication with the collector and remover containers that we already have in Eraser. Awesome. Could you um, tell me a little bit more about like the community surrounding the tool and like where I could go to find out more information or contribute or anything like that? Yeah, you can find all um, the information regarding Eraser on our GitHub repo. Um, and it's just under Eraser Dev. Um, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.